Jim here at Team Aquatics. Welcome back. So if you can't tell, uh, let me shut this light off over here so we can get rid of the glare. I have uh, integrated the F2 Katoombas with the F1 Katoombas and um, power fed the tank right before I did it um, so that they wouldn't look at these guys as snacks and they may still at some point but let's hope not and we'll see how these guys integrate with the current colony they uh, they've been power growing and um, they're a lot bigger than I had initially uh, when, than when I initially got them and they definitely are confident fish I mean they're swimming out <laughs> they're swimming out there with the with the big guys but when I did put them in I mean you'd think that I just dumped a bunch of feeder guppies into the tank and um, some of the larger um, kits were chasing these guys around like they were feeder fish um, just chasing though not uh, not really popping at them. Maybe they recognize the same species and maybe it's because these guys are all tank raised tank bred fish, F1s and F2s, but um, many of you guys know that I bought these fish to try to make sure I had a good male to female ratio. And I've had these guys for, I don't know, a month and a half, two months in a 40 gallon breeder just power feeding them and trying to grow them as fast as I could because what I didn't want to have happen was for the F1s that I have in here currently to become so sexually mature that and you know they were going to become so territorial they wouldn't accept any other fish into the aquarium. You can see one of my smaller F1s alongside these juvies. And that's one of the, that's probably the alpha in the tank right there. Let's see what he's up to. Yeah, he's just picking up the last of the pellets that are in the tank. He's probably just surveying the scene here to make sure. <clears throat> Excuse me, he's still the boss. But um, yeah, it's this guy. And this guy is center stage here. Basically the alphas of the aquarium and they were the first two to chase chase these guys around but these guys I gave them a bunch of caves bunch of rock work for them to escape to so we'll see how it goes I've done a lot of reading a lot of pros and cons to adding fish this small to a, an established colony um, they could still all vanish this time tomorrow morning I might be down to no fish I have no idea it's a it's a gamble and a costly gamble but I really wanted to get them out of the 40 breeder um, just because of their size and because uh, I think time is an issue with getting these guys integrated into the, the colony. So that being said, I've got the F1s and F2s now actively interacting and I'll tell you these F2s are definitely a confident strain. Yeah, so let me pull back and give you guys a look at the 7 foot 265 so you can kind of see what's going on in there. And keep your fingers crossed for me. Uh, I am a patient man, but um, you know, a lot of you might think that this was kind of an impatient move, but I'm short on tank space and really wanted to I had a lot of reasons for getting these guys in may agree may disagree but hoping these guys are gonna be alright and from what I've read online it's kind of a coin toss in my favor when you're dealing with tank bred and raised fronts see you soon I've got a little one calling me what's up YouTube 24 hours later all 11 um, Frontosa fry have gone into the aquarium. I just threw a bunch of pellets in food for them. And 24 hours later, they're all still there. 
and everyone seems to be fully integrated. It's just a mass of frontosa in this aquarium now. And yeah, totally psyched. But I wanted to bring everyone an update to let you all know that there were no casualties, no big fat frontosa swimming around this morning. Because they had eaten the, uh, these juvies, like feeder guppies. When I first put them in, I'm not sure if I mentioned in the previous video, I'm splicing them together so that you can get the whole, um, the whole effect. But um, some of the bigger guys were chasing these little guys into the, into the tank when I put them in like, like I had just literally thrown feeder fish in. And, um, but now you can see they're using the whole, whole aquarium. Uh, the big guys and the little guys are all just kind of swimming around, interacting. And I'd like to think this is kind of what Lake Tanganyika looks like on the bottom uh, with a colony of um, young frontosa. So um, you can see the coloration of the, the juvies is very similar to, to their lar larger uh, counterparts in there. And uh, I'm psyched about that because uh, they're both, you know, you got F1 and F2, same region specific fish. And um, yeah, so hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to be bringing you a lot more. So now that ups my total number of fronts in this aquarium to 22 and uh, gives me something to work with when these guys start getting some real serious size on. Um, make sure I have a good male to female ratio and the ones that I can't keep, uh, I should be able to get a decent amount of money for when I sell them. And um, yeah, so anyhow, really excited for, for the outcome here. Could have gone either way, <laughs> I think. But honestly, these juvies are a little bit bigger than I thought they were. I'd put a lot of size on them in the, in the weeks that I'd had them in the, in the grow out tank. So some of them are, are definitely too big to be eaten. Others are a little bit smaller, but they look like they are uh, pretty accepting of their own species. So love this aquarium. Love it. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, I did put some caves, some rocks in here with some caves in them, uh, just in case. Uh, I put those in primarily to um, save uh, Pleco's lives <laughs> because I had a Pleco in here that was tearing up some of the, um, the diatome algae and unfortunately, for whatever reason, uh, he passed away and I, I found these guys eating them. And, um, so I pulled him out and I've got several smaller albino bristlenose in here that uh, come out at night. I've seen them all. They are uh, clearing some spots and, and taking it down a little bit. But honestly, uh, the aquarium looks great with the algae in it. I'm not, you know, disappointed with it. It's a low light tank and diatome algae uh, flourishes in low light conditions. So. So there it is. Hope you enjoy and I'll be bringing you some updates uh, as they come in.